All right, so I'm gonna make a Fowler ramrod out of a half inch dowel, and I need to take it down to three eighths, um, and it's gonna have a fluted end. So what I have in here is a half inch die, and uh, I've got my drill set up with the half inch dowel, and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. All right, so I got the end mark closest to me. Um, I'm actually going to stretch that out because I want to make an area that's um, long enough for the flute. I'm going to make it a little bit longer than it needs to be. So there's something about right there. About two to two and a half inches. That's going to be our fluted end, so we're going to want to stop short here. Um, I did pare down the wood a little bit to make it thinner to fit in the chuck. So it's good to go, and I've already started on this end. And this is a hickory rod, so it's hard wood. But I did start on this end already. So what we're gonna do is go ahead, and uh, I'm just gonna hold the drill on this opposite end. And we're gonna go nice and slow. Another thing I wanted to do is get a glove, some kind of leather glove that I'm gonna hold the dowel in the middle as it spins to stabilize it. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Just a nice even, a nice even pressure and a nice rate of speed that isn't too fast, but it's not too slow. A little bit tough to regulate. be a field thing. take a little break just to show you guys there we go so using the the half inch uh, die takes down our dowel stock to uh, 3 8 inch which is what I need man I'm really impressed I was honestly I was dreading this step I've never done this before um, so my learning curve uh, hopefully it will help you in the future uh, to make things easier on you. And see I'm using my hand, this glove, stabilize. I'm really impressed. Really impressed.
And as we're getting to the center of the rod here, I'll switch my grip to the length side to keep it from flopping um, and just to stabilize it from there. <clears throat> I think this will clean up really nice with some sandpaper and I'll show you guys that when I'm done here. Lots of dust. Like I said, this hickory is hard stuff, you know. there we're about a foot away about 13 inches some glasses on here just to have something to protect my eyes as I'm getting closer to the getting closer to the die set here off for a minute it's probably getting pretty hot at this point uh, but the overall stick is done we got about four inches left uh, to get to our stopping point this is cool All right. we're definitely getting too hot so I'm gonna take a break I don't want to stress the wood. Last little bit. And I'm probably going to stop short of my line uh, just to leave a little extra length on this end until I know how my taper is going to be and what length I need it to fit the actual stock of the gun. Um, but all you do when you're done is just cut this end off flush. Um, you can countersink that in for round balls. I probably wouldn't do it too much on wood because you wouldn't want the edges to be real thin and chip out and whatnot. Um, I might just leave it flat. Uh, but let's go ahead and finish out this last little bit. This has been awesome. Move a couple things here. Right. Stop short. I don't know if I can pull it straight back out. We'll rotate it back out here. Now 
there we have it. That's going to be our tulip end. There's our 3 8 rod. We'll go ahead and run some sandpaper over that and see how she does. Honestly, this only took a couple minutes and I can't believe it was uh, worrying me so much. Uh, that is a little warm, but um, yep, a little die set in your vise, half inch to half inch dowel, and um, you can make a uh, trade gun or fowler rod with the flared end pretty easy. But I'm going to take some coarse grit paper like this. It's kind of an old piece because <clears throat> the grooves in this are pretty, pretty stout, but we'll clean it up, see what happens. Battery's dying a little bit there, but you can see it's definitely cleaning up good. I'm blown away. Blown away. All right, I took it out of the chuck just to show you guys. There's our flat end. The uh, rod itself is really cleaning up. I don't even know if I could, yeah. Clean it up nicely. We're just gonna go down grits, probably um, down to 220. Something like that. Um, pretty neat. I really appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we all learned something together on this one.